here today, guys. Basically, we just have a pretty pretty standard swim jig, swim bait hook. This is a one eighth ounce. It's got nice eyes on it. I like the eyes. I wish the head was painted instead of lead color, but it's not. But that's okay. Good sharp hook, kind of a long shank hook. We're gonna be pairing that up with a Panic Minnow color 100, shad looking color. You'll see it's pretty quick. And Havasu here. We got a lot of shad, so they really like these shad colors. So when you pull it out of the package, what you're going to notice is it's encapsulated in a in another s set of plastics, which really help keep these baits formed right. The last thing you want to do is get a bunch of baits wadded up in the back of your boat or tackle box, and then these tails get all bent and they won't swim right. The heat and everything melts them, and they just won't swim right. So when you pull that out of the package, see it's nice and straight. Great color, like a two-part laminate. It's really, really good looking bait. So we're gonna pair that up on this, this swim bait hook. We're just gonna start at the top, basically right between the eyes, about where the mouth's at, where I'll put this in. And this hook's big enough to give us enough, enough depth. So when a fish bites it, we'll still have plenty of hook out there. So I'll spread it on about halfway, and I'll come right through the back of the bait with the hook. You want that right in the center of that bait when you come out with that thing because that's going to really affect how this thing swims in the water. Just keep on sliding it up over the barbs on this particular hook I got. Get it nice and straight. And basically, you know, that's what you got. It's going to swim, it's going to swim true. Got plenty of hook in here for a fish to get his mouth in there. Should be a good setup. So we're going to play around with this for a little bit. We got really clear water today. I don't know what the water temperatures are exactly, but it's probably in the mid 70s. We're in post spawn conditions for the most part. Most bass will spawn. There might be a few on bed still, but uh, we're going to try to get some of these these bigger females out a little bit deeper water, maybe that 10, 12 foot range. Kind of slow rolling this on the bottom. Not working it too fast. A lot of these fish are pretty tired from the spawn. They want an easy meal. Um, so that's what we're going to go for. We got a couple other baits. We got one with a swim jig. Let me show you this other one too. We got, we got a couple uh, vibrating jigs with that color 100 on this one as well. White skirt, white weed guard. Panic a 100 there. Another uh, swim jig with, I can't remember what color that is, but a darker color really matches that skirt really well. I mean, the blues and the greens and the, and the uh, green pumpkin really good. Got a black blade on that. That should be a pretty deadly bait. This, I got this on braid, which probably isn't gonna be the best right now because it's super clear. We're gonna go down the lake a little bit further up this river and it, it's pretty stained water. That's when I'll use braid and this is probably 20 pound test. Braid, it casts really well, really abrasion resistance, but uh, these fish will be a little bit line shine. There's clear water, so we'll save that for the muddier water. Then we also have a <clears throat> rigged up on a spinning rod so you can cast this thing a mile. Basically just an underspin with a drop minnow on it. So as it's going through the water, this blade's gonna be rotating. We'll get some video of that, but, but these plastics are super soft. I mean, they're great. When a fish gets a hold of that, he doesn't wanna let it go, which is what you want, right? Gives you a little bit of time to account for human error. They hold on to it a little bit longer. So that's kind of the deal. I think we're uh, gonna get rocking and rolling, see if we can't catch some fish.